Jen and I'm back with the second layout using my stash kit for the next few months and I'm using these two photos. These are some photos of my mom and my nephew. This is right after my mom um, broke her kneecap and I just, I saw my nephew playing with her and she was still able to interact and play with him and make him happy and she was still the best ABBA ever even though she couldn't move. <laughs> and so I just wanted to document that. Um, I posted a little video on Instagram about this. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen that. But um, she's just a really good grandma and so I just wanted to point out that even with a bum leg she <laughs> she still made it. Um, and so I'm thinking about using this background that I created in the last layout and um, using this for kind of my foundation here and then I've just pulled some other papers from the kit that might be able to work. I originally pulled this paper from for this side of the page but I think I might want to use this celebrate the simple things or with happy hearts we gather together or create beautiful memories. One of these ones with the words I think would look nice with this and then I'm going to use some of these blues and greens and then um, I'm going to also use my I think I'm going to use the letter stamps this time for real and I'm going to do still the best and so I'm going to use those in combination with these letters and then I'm also going to try to incorporate some of the raindrop washi tape because it's a hard time um, in life and so I think the raindrops work well for that. Um, even if not, I think that this washi tape is just pretty so I think you could use it whenever but that's my plan. And then I pulled an arrow and then the confetti and then maybe some of these word stickers will work. We'll see. So that is where I'm starting and I'll go ahead and put you on fast forward and let you watch me uh, do this process while I talk you through it. So as I mentioned, I'm using this paper that um, I had started and thought I was going to use in the last layout. And if you didn't watch that, what I did was just take uh, some white acrylic paint and um, spread it on my background paper. So I'm just cutting this down because I'm thinking I want to mount it on that darker green paper. And what I think I'm going to do is mount it, instead of having an even edge all the way around, what I'm going to do is mount it so that it has two borders on just the left and top side and then the bottom and right side will be flush to the edge. And I'm cutting out the center of that piece because I really like it and I don't want to waste any of it. And so uh, I want to, yeah, I want to save it. So here I'm trying to decide where I want to put my photos. Now that paint is a little bit to one side and so I'm thinking I should put my photos off to one side. And so I'm going to do that. And here I'm poking out these letters. They are chipboard, they are adhesive backed, but you can easily poke them out, which is kind of nice because then you can play with them until you decide what you want to do. And so I'm using those to spell out the words the best. And I promise that I will take this off autofocus so that you don't get a headache from it uh, focusing in and out. Um, and what I'm going to do now is stamp the word still with my Jen stamp set. That's a script stamp set that I designed for Felicity Jane. And you can find it, I think it's for pre-order in the shop because it sold out. So she ordered some more. Um, and I will link to all of those products that I use in the video description as well as over on my blog at craftygenscow.com. So these are made to uh, stamp together so that it looks like you, you scripted it yourself. And I stamped it in some gray ink, but now I'm trying some from Allie Edwards. It's in a color called Olympia, and it's that kind of same green, greeny blue color. And I'm wondering if I want to do she is the best instead of still the best. And so I'm stamping out the words she is instead of still this time. And I'm thinking that I'm going to like that. So I'm just cleaning off each stamp with a baby wipe after I'm done with it and just lining those up. Now there's a little tail included in the stamp set that you can stamp at the beginning of the letters, but I didn't feel like these ones needed it. Uh, if you were to stamp an F, I definitely would use it. You might have seen me do that in the last video. So now I'm hand trimming these out and I'm just using some close to my heart micro tip scissors. I love having a pair of micro tip scissors because I especially uh, one of my favorite things to do is fussy cut things. So sometimes I cut things out of paper, sometimes I cut words like this, and so I like to have a nice fine tip pair of scissors. And I'm totally off camera cutting this stuff out, and I think in a second I'm going to skip forward, or maybe I don't. And what I've decided to do is um, I cut out the letters and I didn't cut out the middles like 
where the H and the S loop around. And so what I'm going to do with my words the best is I'm going to leave the centers in the B and the E so that they kind of have a similar vibe. So here I am taking some of that washi tape and I'm thinking it'll just kind of, I'll mat it, mat my photo with it a little bit. And I really love this washi tape. It's a little bit wider than a normal washi tape. It's about an inch wide. And here I did something awful. I put the washi tape on top of the photo and I printed that photo at home and it kind of peeled off the ink. And so I ended up giving that photo to my mom. But right now I'm feeling lazy and I'm thinking I might cover it up, but no. I will give it to my mom. Now in the last video I used this little powder tool that you can see me using now. That is an EK Success powder tool where it takes the stickiness off the back of a sticker and it's just filled with baby powder pretty much and that's what I'm doing to help my indecision because I don't want to stick anything down yet because I haven't decided exactly where I want it to go so um, I like that powder tool. So here I pulled out some of the white rub-ons that were that I included in this kit there from Studio Calico and there's one that says it's not always rainbows and butterflies and I'm going to put that on the bottom of the photo but I decided to go ahead and reprint the photo instead of be lazy so here I just switched it out and now I'm going to go ahead and rub on that phrase at the bottom and I'm just using the back of my scissors, nothing fancy and it rubs on really nicely. If you have a glossy photo, rub-ons work really well on them. So I've decided, you can see that lemon and that little heart XOXO, those are actually from the Cute Girl uh, Crate Paper Collection die cut package and I decided to go ahead and throw that die cut package in with my kit because I was feeling like I had stickers and I had chipboard but I didn't have die cuts and I wanted them. So I have added those to my kit now, just FYI. So I stuck my photos down and now I am sticking the word best on my photo and it is lining up with my couch in the photo. So it's slightly overlapping the photo at the top, but you can't really tell too much. It kind of blends into the background. And the word the, I'm gonna use lowercase letters and it will rest on top of the photo. So that's why you see a difference in height when I adhere these here. And I really like the way that ends up looking. I used my ruler because I wanted to make sure I got it straight and I don't do that very often. So here I am using just some liquid glue in a fine line bottle, that's Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And you can get those fine line bottles empty and then just fill them with whatever you like. And I adhered the words she is. And there's a little space now above the word the, so I'm thinking that heart might go there. I wanted to use this butterfly, which is from the chipboard sticker sheet that you can see sitting off to the left, because I use that phrase, it's not always rainbows and butterflies, so I thought it would be a nice addition. And here I cut that XOXO out of the yellow paper. That was a die cut from the Cute Girl collection. And I just left a tiny little yellow border around it. So there's yellow in the raindrop washi tape, and so I thought that would be nice to include. And then I did end up cutting out of that, that Maggie Holmes paper, the Celebrate the Simple Things. And I cut it just around the white part, and you can see the yellow tape on it. So that brings in another little shot of yellow. And I wanted to include the lemon because my mom's making lemons out of lemon, or I mean making lemonade out of lemons, right? When life hands you lemons, make lemonade. And so I thought that would be just a nice subtle nod to her making the best of the situation. So I decided to tuck the XOXO heart up at the top and I just kind of um, pushed it up underneath that H so that it could overlap and that makes it feel like it belongs there. And then I used some of the, the Love This sticker came from the Maggie Holmes Gather sticker sheet that I put in my kit at the beginning. I keep trying to make that chipboard polka dot heart work, but I end up not using it. <laughs> so I wanted to bring some more black in, so I, I found a, another sticker that said family, and I stuck it on that little die cut card. And then there's this one that says together, so I'm going to make a little cluster where these two photos meet on the right. And I'm still thinking about that little heart. Uh, I found another sticker that says hashtag good stuff, so I decided to use that. So now I have three black phrases. And I'm instead going to decide to use these little open hearts there. And I like that because it adds the black, but it's not so heavy. And I'm getting the heaviness from the word stickers anyway. So I didn't want too much. So I'm going to, I'm thinking about if I want to add some of these kind of peachy colored word stickers. And I decide to add one in each little cluster. And they match the washi tape as well. So I think that works out well. And... 
I'm going to do my journaling in that space on the white paint there, but I'm kind of feeling like I need some of that washi tape up there. So you'll see in a minute here that I'm going to add some washi tape uh, just to the left of the top photo, and I'll do that in a minute. So I'm looking for something I can place above the words that celebrate the simple things on that little card, and I'm struggling a little bit to decide on what I want, but I found a little kind of marble black and white heart and I put it up on foam so that it would match the height and dimension of the two chipboard pieces that are in the other clusters. Pulled out the sequins and that little arrow that I had from the beginning and I decided not to use them but I decided to use another rub on on the top photo and I made the mistake of touching it to the photo too soon. I would have liked it moved over to the left a little bit. It says love this but my um, if you have glossy photo paper those rub-ons just want to go right onto them so which is a good thing but just be careful where you're placing it I roughed up the edges um, you can see that I sewed that down I did that at the beginning and I forgot to mention it um, so I roughed up the edges of the background paper and now I'm just doing my journaling I just uh, sketched in some lines you can see that I added that that uh, raindrop washi tape right below where I'm doing my journaling now. And I'm just using my favorite black Muji pen. It's a nice fine tip to get that uh, journaling on. And just talking about how my mom, even though she has a bum leg, she's still the best abuelita. And she made an extra effort to prove to Wes that um, she was still an awesome grandma and stuff. So I am just going to do some ink splatters now and I'm using some Liquitex acrylic ink and the color is phthalo cyanine green blue shade <laughs> I'll link to it below um, but it was the perfect little touch here I thought about doing black but I, I thought kind of the bright dark green would work nicely so it will soak into the paper a little bit and you'll see how that dries and then I will off camera stamp the date um, a few times down at the bottom and that is going to finish off this layout. I hope that you've enjoyed and come back next week for another layout using this kit.